This video explains how to convert a date of birth to an age using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this, we first need to create an example date of birth, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called xbirth is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And we can bring this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our example date of birth is the 27th of March, 1980. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the age of this person. Then we need to install and load the EAP tools package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of this package. Furthermore, we need to identify the current date, and we can do that using the sysdate function, as you can see in line 8 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called date today is appearing at the top right. And as you can see by printing this date object, the current day is the 2nd of August, 2022. Now, after specifying the current date and the date of birth that we want to check, we can use the hcalc function of the EAP tools package, as you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So within this function, we need to specify our date of birth. Then we need to specify the current date and we need to specify the units to be equal to years. And in this case, I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling xh. So if you run lines 11 to 13 of the code, you can see that this new data object xh is appearing at the top right. And we can print the output of this by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that the age of our example person is 42.35 years. Now, ages are usually represented by integers, so we can also use the floor function, as you can see in the next line of code, to get rid of the values on the right side of the decimal point. So in this case, I'm storing the output of the floor function in a new data object called xh round. So after running this line of code, this data object is appearing at the top right, and we can print the output of this by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that our person is currently 42 years old. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.